But first, on this chat. On this channel, ladies and gentlemen, we like to read you a random Bible chapter. Why? Because uh, one verse just uh, it just doesn't it doesn't fill up the whole uh, the whole the whole story. You know, you gotta you gotta get a you gotta get a whole chapter to get a little bit of an idea. Even sometimes a chapter just isn't enough. And th and then in that case, you just you go to the book. I think I think that's how it works. But. Uh, to save on time, we're gonna read one chapter. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and let's 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 hit the random button. You ready? Three, two, one. Titus two. Titus two. All right, you guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Settle down, settle down, settle down. But as for you, speak the things which are fitting for sound doctrine. Older men are to be temperate. Dignified, sensible, sound in faith, in love, in pers perseverance. Older women, likewise, are to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossips, gossips, nor enslaved to much wine, teaching what is good, so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be sensible, pure, workers at home, kind, being subject to their own husbands, so that the word of God will not be dishonored. Likewise, urge the young men to be sensible. In all things, show yourself to be an example of good deeds, with purity and doctrine, dignified, sound in speech, which is beyond reproach, so that the opponent will be put to shame, having nothing bad to say about us. Urge bond slaves to be subject to their own masters in everything, to be well-pleasing, not argumentative, not proliferating, but showing all good faith so that they will adorn the doctrine of our God, of God, our Savior in every respect. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good deeds. These things speak and exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one disregard you. Oh, man. Yo, if I had to pick a chapter for the channel... I think I think this is the run, this is this is going to be in like the top 3 right now. This Titus 2. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 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 a good way to that's that's a nice Sunday read right there. I thank you guys for joining me on this random chapter of the day. Titus 2, getting this hyped. Getting this hyped this morning. All righty. Appreciate it.